I'm Eric Sutton. I'm the pastor here at the Oglala Recreation and Worship Center. The idea of the Rec Center, as we call it, uh, was founded back in 1995 by Tim and Elaine Harris. Uh, they moved from Florida uh, to come here and to find out what the Lord wanted them to do here among the Lakota Nation. When they were here, they were driving around the reservation and they were seeing different things and, and, and running, you know, meeting different people in the community. And what they saw and what Tim saw, he always shared this vision with me, is he saw a lot of uh, old white churches. In Tim's heart, he had a whole different vision for the rec center and a whole different vision for Oglala. He didn't come here to build a church. He didn't come here to build just a place where they have Sunday services and maybe Wednesday night Bible studies. He wanted to build a place where kids can come and they can feel safe. A place where the kids can come and be kids for a few hours a day. Uh, a place of refuge, a place of safety, a place of love. And so we've continued with that vision here uh, almost 20 years later. And we continue to do open gym for the children every day after school. During the summer we're open all day long. We have lunch for the community during the summer. And the kids can just come. We have skates and scooters and basketball and kickball and just all the things kids like to do, puzzles and coloring. And we have a, a beautiful playground the Lord has provided that the kids can come and play on. And the idea is that the kids can come and just feel safe. And hopefully through that we're able, as we work alongside them, as we play with them, as we uh, administer all the things that need to happen here at the Rec Center, uh, we're able to show them Christ through our life. And that's the idea. That's the, the general and basic idea of the Rec Center and what we do here. Um, we do it because we love the Lakota. Uh, everyone here on the team has been here for a long time. Uh, I myself have been here 15 years and we just love the kids. We love the community. And what we've realized over the years doing this for as long as we have is that we realize we can't do this alone. And so with that, we have uh, begun partnering with other ministries and other brothers and sisters across the reservation. And through that, we've also been meeting once a month uh, for a day of fasting and prayer where us as pastors, we call together our churches and we, we proclaim a fast that day and then we meet in one of the communities for a night of prayer. We see what needs to happen here among the Lakota Nation is we need to see brothers and sisters, both Lakota and white, loving on each other, ministering together and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ together. And th from that, we believe that the Holy Spirit is moving now and will continue to move even more powerfully. And we're hoping beyond hope that God is going to have his way here. And he's going to bring healing and bring deliverance and bring life. And that's our, that's our heart. That's our wish. That's our desire. That's what we pray for. That's what we cry for. That's what we're believing for. We just want to thank you for all your love and support over the years. We invite you to join us in prayer, in fellowship if you're able, and also in just in what Jesus is doing through his Holy Spirit here among the Lakota people. Thank you for standing with us. Hope to see you soon. Like a blanket wrap around us, around us now. Love of God.